I guess just to get the housekeeping stuff out of the way, what's up with uh, DA and uh, Jeremy and Malcolm? Is there any updates on them? Well, no, nah, they still all day to day, pretty much is the best that I can tell you. Not sure. Uh, well, I know for sure Jeremy won't be playing tomorrow. He's not going to make the trip. No, okay. no, Jeremy's not. But um, still day to day with the other two guys. Right. Do you ever lie awake at night dreaming about a uh, complete lineup and? <laughs> Jeremy. Oh, man. I dream about it all the time, <laughs> man. All the time. It's crazy. Johnson, it's kind of an abstract question in a sense of, do you feel like in today's NBA you can be kind of a throwback point guard and Andre Miller, uh, Steve Nash without taking pull-up threes all the time? Just kind of, can, is that paradigm still a thing that, can, that exists that can kind of break a defense with, with dribble drive and, and penetration and playmaking? Mm -hmm. I think so. I think so. I, um, you, I don't know if y'all watched the game yesterday, uh, the Laker game, but like even a guy like TJ, you know, he he has an impact every time he's on the floor. Um, and he's not a three-point shooter, but he's a playmaker. He's scrappy on D. Like he's disruptive defensively, and he's disruptive offensively because of his pace. And he gets into the paint, and they got shooters around, so he's kicking it out and. He's he's a he's a, a consummate like pure point guard, and I I still think that there there's a lane for those guys in today's game because now the game is so spread out um, that getting to that paint, you know, people instincts will kick in defensively when you get to the paint, and people's going to be running towards the ball, and it just creates so many opportunities. So yeah, I definitely think that there's a there's a need for guys like that. Ultimately, <clears throat> is that, if you have a really good guard who can do that, is that ultimately more efficient anyway? Because when you have the high volume shooting three point, mm -hmm. point guards, you have those nights when they're three or 15 and you're sure. Done. Well, I think so. I think so. And you want that guy to also, you know, be able to finish at the basket, you know, um, to be able to like keep the defense honest, you know, make a shot here or there, but mid range, be able to shoot those. Um, like the other night, like Dallas, the way Dallas played us, we had to, we, we got off 50 some threes, 53 threes, but the defense was just all in the paint the whole time. So I'm stressing, get to the paint, get to the paint. Well, there's four guys there. So you, you still, you know, they force you in a certain situations most times. But if you had Grant and Malcolm. Then I would love for them to sit in the paint. You know what I mean? Give me, give me 53 threes then. You got Malcolm, Ant, and Shea, and Grant, and Jeremy, and them. Let me shoot 53 then and see what happens. I know you were at the game yesterday watching the uh, remix, and I just mm -hmm. this last couple of games with Jeremy out, you, you, you started using Chris more. Have you noticed kind of what having played consistently in the G League has done for him as far as you know, his confidence and you know, just his readiness for to actually play for you? You said the main thing. Uh, his confidence has changed. You know, um, you look at him in training camp and you look at him now when I have to throw him in there. His confidence is just totally different because he's getting those actual minutes of play in the G League. And, um, you know, as you can see how their games are, man, it's a, it's just, they play physical, they play fast. Like, it's a, it's a tough league, you know. So it, it, I think, gives you the confidence to, one, understand how to play um, and then what, you know, what's necessary when you get back, you know, to the, to the varsity team, if you will, you know. You said the other night that 20 shots was too many for Tumani, but do you do you feel like, other than that, you're usually okay with the shots he takes because he gives you so much defensively and he's growing as he's taking the shots that he I has am. taken? I am. I am. I mean, that was pretty much an outlier. But um, anybody that gives you that much defensively and everywhere else and his motor and he does everything right, you know, you're going to live with uh, a lot of those things, a lot of those situations. And, again, I never want – I'm never going to allow to to not shoot open shots. It's just about time and score when. You know, if there's a time where he gets a, the ball on the wing and you got shaded in this corner and, I don't know, and up top, he got to be the best next action guy in the league, the Draymond, the P.J. Tuckers and things. he got to be going to get Shea a shot, go get Anna a shot as opposed to his kick out three, if that makes sense. So. That takes time to develop and understand when, oh, this is the score, oh, why, oh, Shea been rolling, or 
Ant has had a shot or, you know, we checked them in the game. Ant was on a, on a heater a little bit. We checked him back in the game and there was a couple of opportunities for him to go get Ant a shot. And that's just something that as we teach him and as I'm teaching him to understand and know, like, I'm here to make these other dudes so much better. Oh, but by the way, I'm going, I'm going to be able to eat too because they're going to forget about me, you know? So it just takes time, but man, no, I love the way that, that two has been playing. Shea had a tough stretch where he was like 34%, 27 on threes over like five or six games, and then he picked it back up again. Was there anything, he said he just got back in the lab and worked on the shot, but was there anything else that went on in that change, or it just, man, it's just tired, structure of basketball? Tired, tired, worn down, tired. worn down. I was playing, playing the kids so much, man, and he just was worn down, you know, and then you get Malcolm back, and all of a sudden he's shooting easier and better shots. You get Ant back, all of a sudden it's different. You get the normal, regular Shea again. That was just, to me, a byproduct of just how much I had to play.